The development of welfare systems was one of the defining characteristics of the 20th century, especially in Europe. But welfare states are at a critical turning point. Europeans are proud of the welfare state and the way it is there for them if they fail or if something happens in their lives. But simultaneously, there are concerns over its future. Many don't believe that social security levels can be sustained. As well as financial stability, migration levels and ageing populations are key concerns. These worries should be taken seriously, but the future of Europe's welfare state is looking more positive than they might suggest. The Norface Welfare State Futures Programme conducts research into the sustainability of welfare states. It's asking and answering fundamental questions about the design, delivery and experience of welfare in the 21st century. The programme brings together a Europe-wide network of 60 principal investigators and almost 200 affiliate researchers across 15 large projects. The team is looking at five main research clusters – health, migration, welfare state attitudes, child and family welfare, and globalisation, welfare states and inequalities. Its findings demonstrate that many fears regarding European welfare states and their future are nothing more than that – fears not facts. Migration is often the most commonly stated concern over the future of European welfare states. Despite a widespread opinion that migrants come to Europe to exploit its benefit systems, the programme has proven that this is simply not true. In fact, immigrants pay more in taxes than they take out in benefits. Rather than a burden, migration benefits welfare states. Secondly, it's true that an ageing population raises new challenges for welfare states. The increasingly complex problems of families and elderly people have the potential to cost the welfare state more. Social service professionals are working as hard as they can, but they need our support. Welfare states bring their own economic benefits. Generous welfare states and training provision helps to produce an effective workforce and increase competitiveness. The Norface team's research shows that European welfare states are powerful institutions that are well equipped to adapt to changes. It highlights the importance of reforms which take into account social and technological developments. The majority of people in Europe think that it should be the responsibility of the government to ensure a reasonable standard of living for the unemployed, sufficient childcare services for working parents and a reasonable standard of living for the old. Social solidarity is alive and well, despite fears for the future of welfare states.